To start off, I will be using one pound of boneless pork shoulder. I will be slicing it thinly. I will also be using some sliced shiitake mushrooms. This is optional. I actually had shiitake mushrooms that were left over that I needed to use. I'm also going to be using one sliced medium onion. Here I have about five to seven cloves of garlic sliced. You can mince them, but we actually like to slice them thinly into like large flat pieces. And now for the sauce. Here I have three to four tablespoons of gochujang. And to that, I'm also going to be adding three tablespoons of soy sauce. Here, I just wanted to show you what my container of gochujang looks like. This is the Korean red pepper paste, and to the left of the container, you'll see a thermometer which indicates how hot this is, and this is pretty hot, which is why you can use as much or as little as you like. Here I'm showing you the soy sauce that I'm using, and this is a Korean soy sauce, which pairs really well with this recipe, but if you just have regular soy sauce, that's fine, use what you have. Next, I'll be using two tablespoons of rice wine, and I'll also be adding about a teaspoon to two teaspoons of brown sugar. And I almost forgot I'll be adding one teaspoon of minced ginger. And now I'm going to begin to combine all the ingredients together. Okay, next I am going to crush one tablespoon of sesame seeds. And after crushing them in my mortar and pestle, I'm going to add them to the sauce. I also would like to mention that this recipe is coming straight from my husband's repertoire. Yes, there are not many things that he makes here in my house because I do most of the cooking, but he actually makes this recipe really well. And it took us a couple tries to actually get measurements for this because normally he just puts it all together and it comes out great. The only thing I changed about this recipe that he, the way he does it is I actually use soy sauce and not soybean paste. He uses soybean paste when he's making the sauce, but I figured people were more likely to have soy sauce in their pantry than soybean paste. Okay, so now that that is all combined, I am going to bring back my sliced pork. And I just wanted to show you that I sliced it into small thin pieces. And sometimes when I'm feeling lazy, I just chop it into chunks. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is just add my sauce into the pork. And I'm just gonna pour that all in there. And now I'm also going to add our sliced garlic. This is also going to go in here because I want the garlic to pick up some flavor and the garlic to impart some flavor into the pork meat. So with my clean hands, I am just going to give all of this a good mix and I will be allowing this to marinate or set for about 45 minutes to an hour. Actually, I've let it set for about 30 minutes and it comes out just fine. So if you're pressed for time, just let it go for 30 minutes and then you can just stir fry it. So here, 
in a preheated pan with a little bit of vegetable oil, I am going to brown the shiitake mushrooms. Okay, so now that my mushrooms are nice and sauteed, I'm going to be adding the onion. And I'm going to go ahead and give these a quick saute. Okay, so now I am going to add my pork. And I know what some of you are probably thinking. Sauteing a pork slathered in chili sauce or pepper paste, brown sugar, um, soy sauce, that it's gonna burn before it actually cooks. But I just want to mention that I am actually cooking this on a medium heat. I'm going to cook my pork meat on a medium heat for about a good 15 to 20 minutes. And once I see that it is basically done, I'm going to crank up the heat to a medium high heat to go ahead and get a nice sear on the meat right before anything burns. You do want a little browning so that's just a tip. Make sure when you're stir frying this don't put it on a flaming high heat because the sauce will burn. Okay so this is about 10 minutes of cook time. So as you can see, it's starting to cook, it's not burning. So I'm gonna continue on the medium heat and I'm gonna let this cook for another 10 minutes. Okay, so now that I see that my pork is done, I'm going to crank up the heat to about a medium high heat and I'm going to go ahead and let it sear and add some fresh green onion. And I'm just gonna go ahead and finish cooking it for less than five minutes. I just want to give it a nice brown color. Now my pork is done and I'm super excited to give it a try. So I've just plated it and what I've also done is crushed a little extra of the sesame seeds and I'm just going to garnish with the toasted sesame seeds that I've crushed and some fresh green onion. You could make lettuce wraps with these which is my favorite way to eat them with rice on the side and it's the perfect meal. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching. Hey guys, you can click on the video icons for more recipes, or you can click on my picture icon to subscribe. Thanks for watching.